don't mean like throw in shade. This is no place to get sassy. Would it be a surprise to any of you guys to know that I think working with colors is the most fun part of brand design. But as fun as it can be, they can also be a pain in the neck. You might love your brand colors, but once you start putting them together, you end up with something that looks a little bit like unicorn barf. But don't fear, there is no need to toss everything and start all over again from scratch. There are three types of colors that are missing from your brand palette that are going to take all of your graphics from unicorn barf to unicorn sparkles. Do you ever put your brand colors together and end up with something like this? <laughs> Color overload. But what else are you supposed to do? These are your brand colors after all. Why don't they look better together? The most important part of working with your brand colors is making sure that you have enough variety so that you can use your colors endlessly to create an endless variety of graphics for all the content you're gonna produce. And I don't just mean color variety, I mean saturation variety too. If white backgrounds aren't your thing, Take some of your brand colors and turn them into super, super light pastels. These are a great building block for backgrounds, text overlays, and more. They're still on brand for you, but they give you enough color contrast that you can make anything readable. Some really soft grays and beigey tones are also a great place to start if your brand is a little more neutral to begin with, or if you just want to work in a little more variety to your pastels. Dark alternatives to black. This is a really common need nowadays because we're working with so many creative brands who are geared toward the more romantic and soft and gentle aesthetics. Black might read a little too harsh for those brands. So try using either a navy or a warm, dark, dark brown, or even a darker version of some of your brand colors. This is gonna help everything become a little more readable and it's gonna look a little softer as well. But if you don't have any problems with black, don't be afraid to use it. Black is still the most effective and the most readable color choice for any of your text. Shades. And I don't mean like throw in shade. This is no place to get sassy. I mean, if you're still craving a little bit of variety from your brand colors, try using some lighter and darker versions of whatever your base brand colors are. You'd be really surprised by how much this opens up the possibility for really big variations in your design while still looking super, super branded. Three easy colors to work into your brand that open up an entire world of possibility. I can't wait to see what you make out of them.